The door opens, and before the Reverend can object, Ann Putnam enters the bedroom. Goody Putnam has heard that Betty was seen flying, and warns that Betty's condition bears the devil's signature. Her husband Thomas Putnam enters and reveals that their daughter Ruth has also taken ill. The Putnams, well-to-do landowners in Salem, are convinced that there's witchcraft at work and are pleased to hear that Reverend Paris has summoned the Reverend Hale, a known expert in demonic arts. Reverend Paris warns that Hale is coming only as a precaution and implores the Putnams not to jump to witchcraft. Goody Putnam says she believes each of the seven babies she has already buried in her life was murdered. Mrs. Putnam then admits she actually sent her daughter Ruth to Tichiba. The Putnams had heard that Tichiba could speak to the spirits, and they were determined to identify who killed their children. Abigail changes her original story to admit that yes, there was a conjuring of spirits, but only by Tichiba and Ruth. Paris is now convinced that his enemies will topple him with this news. Putnam suggests that he should announce he's found witchcraft before his enemies can charge him with it. The Reverend insists the cause is yet unknown, but agrees to lead the crowd in his parlor in the singing of a psalm. The Putnams are well-to-do landowners who, in spite of their vast property holdings, are bitter people, resentful of their neighbors. The crucible is filled with this motif of resentment. We'll see several examples of grudges simmered for years, beginning to boil over. Thomas Putnam's grudge went back to when his brother-in-law was rejected as a candidate for minister. Since then, Putnam has become a regular in court with accusations against his neighbors. Goody Putnam has lost seven babies in childbirth and now is resentful of any woman with a healthy family. The Putnams refused to consider they were at fault or even unlucky. Instead, they cried murder, became highly suspicious of others, and highly convinced that the devil was to blame. Hypocrisy is another motif punctuating nearly every scene. Goody Putnam sent Ruth to Tichiba so that the slave from Barbados might contact the spirits of their dead children. Now the Putnams believed they were among the holiest, but even the least pious Puritans knew that conjuring up the dead was a sin. Of course, the Putnams were like a lot of their neighbors, so frightened of the devil, they half wished to see the devil, partly to confirm what they'd always suspected, partly for the chance to fight him face to face. Which is why Thomas Putnam advises Paris to strike out against the devil and the village will bless you for it. Paris and Putnam in this scene make quite a pair. Paris refuses to accept that this is witchcraft on the grounds that it will ruin him. We cannot leap to witchcraft, he cries. They will howl me out of Salem for such corruption in my house. Of course, Putnam couldn't be more eager to get the word out. You are not undone, he tells Paris. Let you take hold here. Wait for no one to charge you. Declare it yourself. You have discovered witchcraft. As Putnam and the rest of the crowd so eager to grapple with Satan would discover, be careful what you wish for. Question one. Why has Reverend Paris summoned Reverend Hale? He is a known expert in demonic arts. Reverend Hale's daughter has also fallen ill. To help him locate the slave woman Tichuba. To calm the inconsolable Goody Proctor. Reverend Paris has summoned Reverend Hale because he is a known expert in demonic arts. Question two. The bitterness of the Putnams is an example of what motif? Honor, devotion to family, hate, resentment. The Putnams are bitter people who are resentful of their neighbors. The crucible is filled with this motif of resentment. Question three, why is Goody Putnam resentful of any woman with a healthy family? Her brothers and sisters all died as children. She has lost seven babies in childbirth. The Putnams cannot afford health care for no reason whatsoever. Goody Putnam is resentful of any woman with a healthy family because she lost seven babies in childbirth.